How do you make your MFDs do this, this, this? All right, they're all animations. We're going to start off by showing you a playlist. All that fancy static, that's part of an animation. You get to build it yourself. If you don't like the delay, you can take the delays out. I have a short delay in each one. I like to make them psh, come on in. Uh, I had sound at one time with it, but it got a little distracting, so that I took the sounds out. But you can always uh, insert that in there. It's not a big issue. The video player I use is VLC. Uh, it's free to use. Install it. Check it out. Play with it. I really like that it has command line actions. So you can control each video with a command line. We have three copies of the VLC file EXE. After installing the VLC, I copied several copies of the EXE file. One, two, three, four, five, and for two, I called it A and B. That's only because my center display right here is, I consider that number two, and I divided it into A and B. And by having these separate EXE files, one primitive way of controlling it, just to shut it off, you can actually just say in process, and it shut it off. Five is the radar screen. And 2B, of course, is the bottom. First, we're going to look at the left MFD. Here's the video for it. That was one cycle of it. Notice it was black and white. However, in VLC, we have some filters, and I applied just green, so all of this will be green in VLC. We can open it up in VLC. So, nice that you don't have to alter a video, the colors. You can leave them as is. However, when you have VLC Media Player, it's going to remember those filters. So all your videos are going to be green. Next, we're running the video, but we're running it through a playlist. We're not just playing the video. We have a playlist set up. And the very first chapter, let's say, of the playlist, or song, if you think of it, is a black screen. If you notice, the black screen at the bottom is about one second long, and if that, and it's just playing back and forth. And it's going to stay there. If we want to advance to the next screen, we tell VLC Movie Player to go to the next chapter. The key is in, but you can program it to be whatever you choose. That's the next chapter. Your screen is black. You go to the next chapter. It powers everything on, and it turns the video off. The video is now off. However, when it's off, your screensaver, which is the exact same image, is now shown. So you think something's playing, but it's really not. It's, it's all off. This is the playlist for VLC for my particular file. It tells me my start time. Here's your volume if you want to change the volume of the sound. Uh, if you want it to repeat or not to repeat. So just check it out. You'll have to, that's something that you're going to have to play with yourself. I think the main thing to notice is the repeats. This is a chapter. We have three chapters or three songs in our playlist. The first one is when the, the file is loaded, it looks like it's powering down with them. So we have a repeat of zero. It just does it one time. This shows where it jumps. It jumps to 5.38 in the song list. The second one is that blank spot. And we have a, a, a repeat rate of 99,999 times. You would have to be sitting there a very, very, very long time before this thing jumped to the next song. The next song is powering back up. It just plays one time. And once it's powered up, the animation ends, and we're left with our screensaver, which is what you see now at the bottom left. So that's the workings of that one particular MFD. And we're looking at an auto hotkey program for it. And right now, this command 
is the one that is operating the animation that we just looked at. It's telling it to run, and again, it has the name of the exe file. We called it vlc-4.exe. I'll let you figure out the minus i and full screen. You can all you tr try out these parameters. The numbers here, video x1291, video y1081, that's the location on my screen. The width, the height, volume, play and exit, the, these are all parameters you need to just play with. Once it's being played, the next thing is let's advance the playlist to the next section. This is the code that's tied to the button 15. This control send command here is sending the end key to this process, autohotkey.exe uh, vlc-4.exe. So that's how I'm sending the end key to this particular program that's running, even if it's running in the background on a different monitor. If it's not playing and it's off, uh, then there's a, a different playlist that only powers it up. So I'm not going to go into all the ins and outs of that. You can see the, the wallpaper, how I'm setting certain wallpapers on and off. That's going to be a different topic. And my editor is uh, Notepad++. Highly recommended if you don't use it. And it looks occasionally to see if the, the process is playing. Um, and that's why we'll see things like that. If it's not playing and it's off, 